There we go. Is is everything working? This is like Animal Crossing music, but it sounds very sad. <laughs> okay, is that all working for everyone? Can you hear? Spa music for 15 minutes? This is like gonna make me sleep. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is something that can get you um, in trouble on Twitch if you sleep on a stream. Are we lurking? I need some sleep. Download Pokemon Sleep from the App Store in the future when it eventually releases in some universe. Put the Sonic Green Hill jazz music thingy on? You'll have to be more specific. Do you know how many renditions of the Green Hill theme there are? You'll need to be a bit more specific. Green Hill Smooth Jazz cover. This means I'll have to... Oh, she's the fun fact that I'm fatigued by the cold and now this whole sleep very quick. Let's say it was a chill Nintendo music cover. Maybe I should have gotten something a bit more upbeat. I'm gonna look up this Green Hill jazz cover. Is it like an official Green Hill? I'm just seeing a bunch of fan covers. No, I don't think it's official. <laughs> I'd rather uh, listen to something more official. I mean, covers can be great and all, but type smooth jazz cover. This sounds like Pokemon music. Green Hill smooth jazz cover. What does the thumbnail look like? Oh, you're watching the direct. Yeah, I was just about to. Um, I uh, I just beat Sonic Advance 2. I didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds because no. Uh, but I beat the game normally. It was pretty difficult, but I got through it. I'm gonna sneeze. Wahoo! <coughs> Sorry, that was that was terrible. Sorry. Sent it to DMs? Okay, cool. <laughs> Bless you, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you. I went to watch on YouTube, yeah. I'm looking forward to the direct. I sneeze two times in a row every time I sneeze. I think a lot of people do that. That's pretty neat. Actually, I'm going to leave a like on that so I can listen to it later. Um, I won't put that on the stream just because it's not an official track, and that's nothing against fan tracks. I'd just rather listen to official Nintendo stuff or gaming stuff. Also, it's only two and a half minutes, so it wouldn't really cover the whole time. And then I'd have to keep switching between videos. I like putting up a compilation, music compilations, because then they like last for a long time. Uh, getting the emeralds is pretty difficult in the advanced games. Oh, we got a timer. Yeah, it is. Getting the, all the emeralds in the first advance was tricky, but looking back on it, I think advance two is like even harder. <laughs> like they upped the ante. I have actually no idea what the special stages even look like in advance two because I never went in them. It sounds like getting into the special stages is really hard. I sneeze multiple times. Yeah. It's a content that makes it funny. I sneeze like four to five times. I think it differs for me. I think I'm an all-rounder with my sneezes. I think I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that when it comes to sneezing. I'm gonna do a little bit of a... 
little bit of a Discord stuff. One sec. Pixel, you're making me sleepy. Sorry. And that's and that song's in the street now. It's in the background music for a questionable Sonic and Mario animation. Oh, the Nintendo is really hard. Oh, well, yeah, definitely not gonna play it. <laughs> Are we finally getting more Nintendo dogs? Oh my God, is this finally where we're gonna get Nintendo dogs? I've never played a Nintendo dogs game. Ever. <laughs> Caught you in 4K again. I should just never trust you. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't really like give me a ton of trust. I need to hug someone to sleep. Oh. You should, if you have a pet, you can hug, hug a, like a cat or a dog or I have a rabbit. <gasps> oh my god, I freaking love this song. Who put the colon so far away from the shift? Just for clarity. <sighs> Tears of the Kingdom? Yes, I'm expecting a full-on breakdown of Tears of the Kingdom in this. Because we've gotten trailers before, but they've like all been teasers. <laughs> only the most recent one we actually knew what the game's called. I have no pets, only a fish. Yeah, I don't recommend hugging a fish. Probably kill it. Don't let the image of that video put you have the music. It's a groove. Sure, I'll separate the uh, the weirdness. So sorry if my stream's lagging a little bit. It's lagging a bit now, actually. I might uh, investigate that if it continues. Oh, I'm getting a lot of lag now. All I did was change the text on my stream. Saw the ratchet skin from the ratchet and clanking fall guys. Yeah, I saw that too. Counts as a pet. Yeah, a fish. Still a pet. Can I hug a fish to death now, can I? Yeah, don't do that. Don't try it. I'm a comedian now. <laughs> Not that I'm judging, you know, to each their own. Yeah. It lagged for a minute. I think it's good now. Yeah, I just had a random lag attack. It's fine now, I think. Actually, I'm gonna, like, open up the stream on my phone and just take a look. What else are we hoping will show up at this Nintendo Direct? I want some Zelda. I want some Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. Because I want the next pack of that to come out. Testing. Yeah, the music's fine. Yeah, I had a lag attack for briefly. Should be fine now. You ha had a seizure for like fi I had a seizure for like 15 minutes? That ain't... that's not good. I hope you're okay. Those are scary. I've seen people have seizures before, I think. Um, at least that's what I think it was. It's pretty scary, so I hope you're okay. Oh, wait. By seizure, do you mean when I was doing that level in uh, Sonic Advance 2? You know, the one with all the tech and the, the computery stuff? You know, that one will do it. I couldn't watch your stream because of those flashing colours. I'm so sorry. Legit really sorry. Blame Sega. Because they made it that way. <laughs> Actually, blame Dimps. Because they, they made the game, really. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> My eyes are shedding tears. Yeah, I had to play it, so I had to look at it. Thankfully, I'm not sensitive to those kinds of flashing colours. Um, I love colours in my face. Is there any other nintendo -y stuff? This is a really, really big want that I don't think will actually happen. I want something Mario and Luigi related, by which I mean the Mario and Luigi sub-series, the RPG series. Um, unfortunately, the company that made those games, Alpha Dream, went, went under a few years back. So the fate of Mario and Luigi series is kind of uncertain. It probably died along with the company, which is a shame, but I really like those games and I want something. I'd love a Mario and Luigi game on Switch, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it'd be so tragic if that series never made a return. It's got so much fun and stuff in it, and it's got music by Yoko Shimomura. <laughs> no, I blame you for streaming it. Fair enough, I guess I was enabling it. I love missing word in my face. Colours is the word. Oh yeah, I just want to mention, um, I'm probably going to separate this VOD into two, one portion for the advanced stream, and then this bit, the reaction to the Nintendo Direct, that's going to be on the main channel. So I'm going to add the advanced portion on my VODs channel, this reaction is going to be on the main channel. So hello everyone on my main channel, if you're watching this. Um, prior to watching this, I was playing Sonic Advance 2. If you're interested in that, go to my VODs channel. It'll be in the description probably, or you can find it in my about section. I believe in you. If you really look hard enough, you can find it. I trust you. But um, yeah, we're watching Nintendo Direct. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, love Nintendo. I only know a lot about seizures because unfortunately my mom has them and they can't be... And they can be extreme, yeah. I I believe I've seen people have seizures before as well and it's pretty scary. I want that too. Mario & Luigi was so good. I love Mario & Luigi. I haven't played any of the games in a few years now and I really want to play them. I'd love to play them on stream. Are you kidding? That'd be so fun. But... Dangerously, Sora. Oh. Hi, main channel. Pixel I want to go back to London. Let's cancel him. Pixel K14 Tails. Pixel K14 Cosmo Sheep. Pixel K14 Tails. Pixel K14 Cosmo Sheep. Pixel K14 Tails. Pixel. <laughs> it cut you out. <laughs> um, yeah, I think your message was long, so it cut you out after a while. Um, yeah, you're being inappropriate. What? What's this slander? I don't know. I wasn't watching a stream about the colours. So this is just pretty. <laughs> Yes, let's see such fame. Hmm. Nice, I sub to your main. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, sorry, I hate channel culture. <laughs> it's okay, understandable, honestly. Uh, thank you for the bit, though, Elshad. Even though there was a decent amount of, like, sass involved with your message. Um, oh, cancel culture. I thought that said channel culture. <laughs> Certain Sony Uno reverse card. I gotta turn off the music. One sec. Because it's a, the show's about to start, right, everyone. For you. Oh, you gave out one sub, one gift sub. Ooh, who's the lucky res recipient of your gift? What a what a random and nice thing for you to do, right when the direct is about to start. <laughs> Thank you very much for the gift sub speaking, and whoever received such a lovely gift, um, I hope you give give speaking the big thank you. Whomever that was. I'm already cancelled on YouTube for vague reasons unknown. <gasps> Olimar! Oh, the, oh, I forgot about Pikmin. I forgot about Pikmin 4. Forgot about this game. 
I've never really played any of the Pikmin games. I played the Pikmin 3 demo briefly once when that came out on Switch. I couldn't get into it, so I don't know. I'd like to get into Pikmin because it looks cute. Ah, oh, the little birds. No problem. Yeah, thank you so much, speaking, for the gift sub. That's so sweet. I wonder who received it. I'm curious. Aw! Who's that little, little, little guy? Little gal. I'm here, hi, Snatch Kid. Just started, just now. It's not a top down game anymore. Interesting. I guess I gotta shake it up, huh? Oh, hey, Pikmin. Yeah. No, it's not fair. It should have been me, random Yuki on me. <laughs> oh, isn't that when Yugi gets beamed away or something? I, I think I just subbed? I don't know. Um, like on the YouTubes? Where I've been subbed? Ah, Ice Pikmin! It's so fat. It's so chunky. Uh, thank you regardless, Mitch. It was King Ko that got it. Oh, is that what it said? Okay. King Ko shows up every now and then. It's kind of like a, one of those, uh... He's kind of like a cryptid. Where he just kind of shows up. Is that a dog? I'm not paying attention to the trailer. Ah, oh, it's a little chunky dog. I might be more into this one because it's because of the camera view might be a bit more up my alley. It's a little thing, but these little things matter to me. Also, she's got little elf ears. Pikmin. Kinko is a familiar name. She's such a cute little character. Look how adorable. Oh my lord. I love that little, little chunky dog. What is this? This is no right being this cute. It's Pikmin 4. I know many Pikmin fans were really, really looking forward to this. So I'm so happy for them. I'm going to turn it down just over here. Uh, oh! That was frightening. I'm not usually into Pikmin, but I think I'll try this one. Yeah, I mean, I hope they have a demo. I'd definitely give it a shot. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, right, that's cute. It's, uh, yeah, Pikmin's always been really cute, and I want to... I want to get into it more. Although the resource management stuff might be a little bit stressful, the game is like apparently pretty lax because you know it's meant to be family friendly. That scene. It's Xenoblade Chronicles, cool. This is what I wanted! Are we going to be able to explore during the night? Ooh. Can you not do that before? Say hello to Masha, the newest hero and a refined lapidaris. Oh wow, she looks like a Pokemon gym leader. She special ore to craft accessories that can bestow various effects. New DLC, yeah. Challenge the fourth DLC pack like will be the uh, the big story added. one. Select only one character and battle wave after wave. Oh, this looks enemies. cool. For every win, you learn more heroes and special abilities. This looks neat. Up victories with your heroes and set your sights on the final stage. Ooh, it's like a cool you little challenge mode. In-game outfits as a reward. And you get throw. <gasps> oh, you can dress up a shulk. That's so cool. <laughs> Tell me why. Holy crap! Is this really what you want? Nothing's gonna get Rex. He's a heartless machine. Oh my god! Fan service. Volume 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Oh my god, that's soon. Oh my god, we're getting, like, fan service stuff? It, amigo. Oh my god, that's so cool. I remember now King Kong's name is an anime character. Also, it's Samba de Amigo. Samba I've heard of this day. series, I know nothing about it. Also, I'm lagging, sorry. I don't know anything about the series. I've only I know of it. I don't know anything about it. 
I have to go now. Please tell me on Discord about the game. Sure thing, 13th. Uh, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Why not dance with a friend to predict your compatibility in a funny monkey. Funny monkey. He is about to sleep. <laughs> oh, you can dress up your monkey. So is this a rhythm game series? Are all the games like rhythm games? Keep the beat and aim for first place. I love rhythm games. I like, I've been getting into rhythm games recently. I'm looking forward to Theatre Rhythm Final Fantasy. That comes out next week. Wouldn't be a Nintendo Direct without fan service. That's like the entire point. Yep, it, it is. It's all rhythm games. It looks neat. Got a passion for fashion? Not really. Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. Okay, this don't care about this. Sorry, <laughs> that kind of sounded kind of harsh. Uh, don't care about Fashion Simulator. Some of the Amiga only got one game, and then he showed up in Sonic Sega All Stars Racing. Really? I thought it was like a long-running Sega series or something. Amigo is cool. I like him. I mean, he looks neat. I like the the art style. Um. It's a uh, it's a monkey. I like monkey. From over 1,000 design options. Hi-Fi Rush did it better. Well, Personal this and that and Hi-Fi Rush are really two work. different games. They're both rhythm games, but Hi-Fi Rush is all about like beating the crap out of people the with the music. Rhythm games come in lots of different flavors. So. Hi-Fi Rush is really good though. New looks. His all star was to By start a conga line. Expand your friend circle and grow your brand. I don't mind talking over this because it's, um, Got an eye I don't fashion? care about fashion. When fashion Dreamer debuts exclusively on Nintendo you got that. If you care about year. those kinds of things, then Fashion Dreamer, there you go. Coming to Switch. Delve into these dark worlds. Oh. Dracula's Castle Beckons in this new paid DLC for the roguelite action platformer, Dead Cells. Huh. Venture through the castle's this hellish halls and outskirts. Fun Fantasy Theater Rhythm, I'll be getting next week, but I don't know if I want it on Switch or PlayStation. Mm. I'm gonna get it on PlayStation, because that's my preferred console of choice. But having it on Switch is convenient, for sure. But I'm getting it on PlayStation. But I'm really excited. I was gonna stream Theater Rhythm when it came out, but I was playing the demo a few days ago. And I was like, this I'm really bad at this game. I can't talk and play this at the same time. So I'm probably not gonna stream it. <laughs> oh, Tron? In this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uncover dangerous truths and retrieve what was Dream Drop Distance. Your decisions and the alliances you forge will impact your journey and the entire server. It's the grid Draw from Dream Drop Identity Distance, except not really. On when Switch you pass people, April. they join the conga line, and at the end, everyone in Who's line there? spun out at the end. <laughs> Wait, is that? Is that rhythm heaven? Well, that can't be good. No, this. The time-bending murder no. mystery ghost trip returns <laughs> in HD. It's co-op. We can play together. The really, theater rhythm? Is it like online? I thought it was only like. Objects. Uh, local co-op. Can we actually play together? That'd be so fun. I'll need to get better because I played the demo and I'm not very good at the game yet. I thought it'd be exactly like Melody of Memory and it is kind of similar but it's a little bit different. A Tron? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the beep boops and the mic and the motorbikes. Also, Snatch Kid did hydrate. Oh my God. Yep, it's co op online and versus map. Cool, we should totally give that a shot. That sounds fun. That's exciting. I'll look forward to that. This actually looks kind of cool. What? Oh, is it like detective stuff? But with like anime protagonists everywhere. Oh, it's a combat? <laughs> RPG? Wow, this actually looks really cool. Do 
Two detective games in a row. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Persona a little bit. I was getting that vibe. Kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit of The World Ends With You as well. This is cool. Police brutality. <laughs> Deca police? Decapolis? Decopolis. That's neat. Oh, Bayonetta. And a demon. Experience Bayonetta's origins as a young witch named Cereza. Ah, cute. Seeking the power to rescue her imprisoned mother. Looks fun to be honest. Yeah, looks really cool. I'm in for some more anime games. Our little Cereza. There, she'll encounter the otherworldly demon. Chesha. Can't wait for this. What, Bayonetta? I'm interested. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it. I'll definitely look into it. Because I do like the Bayonetta games. Uh, but this isn't e exactly like those, but it looks cute. It's got some combat stuff in it. Yep, Bayonetta. Mm. Hold an enemy in place while Cheshire attacks. Bayonetes. Or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. Strategically it's, this seems more puzzle focused though, but it's like a spin-off, so it's fine. I just love anything Bayonetta. Yeah, and also we might get some juicy lore out of this. Continue their journey. By obtaining more powers, new paths can be opened, and battles can be more easily swayed in your favor. I'm gonna keep an eye on this game for sure. That's interesting. Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon prowls onto Nintendo Switch March 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Loving that. This is pretty decent so far. Come in Asai. Me and my demon cat, yeah. Ah, Splatoon. I've never played Splatoon. I was actually thinking if maybe if my sister happened to have a copy of Splatoon, I was wondering if maybe I could borrow it so I can play it and I might play it on stream for the first time because I ne haven't really played Splatoon before. But the world looks interesting and you can chuck ink at people's eyes and kill them so that sounds neat. Um, here comes Nintendo to steal the spotlight off Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> Expansion pass. Introducing the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. DLC already? The first wave is Inkopolis. Make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon your stopping Oh, is this the hub from the first game? This is Booyah, I didn't even notice because I've never played these. And gear. I bet this is like a big deal though to Splatoon fans though. Shopkeepers. Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville, so shop wherever your vibes are strongest. <laughs> shop where your vibes are. Feel the vibes in the air. The so that's cool, you can go back to the hub world from the first game. That's cool. That must be really nostalgic for people. I know I'd eat that kind of thing up. We did a guys to repair a society on set piece. Need a mix of old school and freshness? Then head over to Inkopolis. Yeah, go to Inkopolis and get funky fresh. The first wave of this paid DLC launches this spring. That's pretty neat. I imagine Splatoon fans are pretty into that. What's this? What is it? Oh. This is a tonal shift. Do you get to color in the world with your ink? This this kind of looks like Sonic Generations white space 
Or like the copied city from Near Automata. Can you color it in with your ink? Ooh, kind of freaky. Ooh, that looks wild. You're used to Splatoon being so colorful and vibrant, and there's just none of that. That's really interesting. Wave one, Inkopolis launches this spring. How interesting. Wave two, side order will launch in the future. We did it, guys. We destroyed society. <laughs> one or the other. The Splatoon 3 expansion pass will be available on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Whoa. Splatoon fans, go nuts. Splatoon 3 was launched by the first time in the world, and the many people who have been here have been here. Thank you very much. And the next time, 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 this presentation's doing pretty well for me so far. I've got my Xenoblade Chronicles DLC, so there's that. Oh, I've been interested in this. It's Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck. I just like Mickey. Embark on a new adventure to find these more farming games and save the mysterious island of Mana. Run. Yeah, I thought this game looked interesting. It kind of looks like Rayman. Like Rayman Legends, kind of. But with Nick and Mouse. It just looks kind of cute. Cross large chasms with boost jump. Ground pound barriers to open new spaces. And glide through the air to reach the Oh, Goofy has mustard. Each character's personality shines through in their actions. Up to four pals locally can brave the island. Share a hug for extra help. Aww. Play Is that like Kirby? Or jumps, or drop a rope Speaking of which, hand. I'm really looking forward to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe on Switch. Switch. It was originally a Wii game. The island, and uh, I, I, I played it once at a friend's house. And I thought, wow, this would be a ton more fun if I didn't have to play it with a Wii remote on its side. And now I can do that, so Join Mickey and friends on a high I'm interested in giving that a game a shot. Because currently the only Kirby game I've actually played is Forgotten Land, and I love that. So I wanted to try some more Kirby games, and here's an opportunity. Oh, Fire Emblem stuff? Oh, Expansion Pass? The game just came out. <laughs> Hector, emblem of strength. Raise defense and unleash counterattacks. Soren, emblem of acumen. Cast magic spells over a wide area. Cast spells and crap. The 3DS Kirby games are all great. I've heard really good things about both of them, so I'd actually love it if they got ported to Switch as well. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how likely that is, but I'd want that to happen. Robin, emblem of bonds. Overwhelm foes with sword and magic attacks. Veronica, emblem of heroes. Summon additional allies to fight for your cause. Challenge newly added missions to recruit these new emblems. And in pack four, a new story. So, Fire Emblem DLC. Will be unlocked. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in... Ha I haven't heard as much praise for this Fire Emblem game as I have for the, uh... Pack two of for the, the, the previous one, Three Houses. Pass launches on Nintendo Switch shortly after this presentation. Sure, it's a good game, though. My favorite Fire Emblem moment was the... Oh, wait. Take control okay. of um... My favorite Fire Emblem moment was when there were a character vote and the random gatekeeper from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And then he was added to the mobile game. There's a mobile game? Oh wait, I think I know about the mobile game. Yeah, people really like the gatekeeper for some reason. My sister played through Fire Emblem Three Houses and they told me that they ended up loving the gatekeeper and I have no idea why. <laughs> Maybe I'd know if I'd play it. And decide humanity's it's a really interesting art style. Many branching stories kind of looks like a movie. Along with a riveting soundtrack by Celeste composer Random Gatekeeper Wayne, One, he's doing his best. Aww. Journey. Eventually, you'll side with one of the six aspirations like Bond. 
power or chaos to change the chaos to which destiny do you aspire harmony the fall of reverie launches first for consoles on nintendo switch this june also it's only already imposter check you're so These games will have you really thing. you really care about my posture insomniac i can appreciate it octopath traveler 2 no, is just traveler. around the corner Shortly after this presentation, a demo containing the game's opening hours will be available on Nintendo eShop. Eight new stories await. Which path will you take first? Who will your allies be? And where will your Don't know much about Fire Emblem, but I myself like the gatekeeper. Lots of people lots of people seem to. Traveler 2, launching on Nintendo Switch February 24th. Keep it rolling. Oh, Run Katamari. Of objects in this remaster of we love Katamari. Oh, interesting. Roll Katamari. Never played them. Zoo. But and people seem to space. like these games. They seem very and wacky and nonsensical. Playing as the young king of all cosmos in five new challenges. And taking photos with a selfie camera. The gatekeeper best we love be crow and I find that hilarious. <laughs> we beat protagonist extreme. In addition, also rolling stuff. Online members can play yeah, Katamari. Never played them, but hey, now I've got a uh, opportunity to. It doesn't look like something I'd be really into, but ooh. Now we're talking. What's this? Freely traverse a breathtaking world. Meet characters from all walks of life. And devastate foes with timed attacks in battle. Mario RPG vibes. This looks cool. Enchanting melodies and retro inspired tunes from the renowned Yasunori Mitsuda, a guest composer for the game. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo Switch August 29th. A free demo will launch on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. That game is speaking my language. That looks cool. Multiplayer showdown. I'm trying to get a good audio balance, so I don't want a bit it to be too loud. Air hockey style. Use each striker's skills to dominate each match. Change the course trajectory Ooh, it's like Kawaii football. Block areas to gain the advantage. Or knock opponents out of the arena with explosive moves. Omega Strikers. Well, that was like a Smash Brothers explosion. Switch, April 27th. Pre-orders for this free-to-play game begin on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Hey. Dive back into the sprawling labyrinth. A collection of the first Etrian Odyssey. Odyssey. I've heard of these. Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Many treasures lie deep within. I thought these games heavily labyrinth. used touchscreen. Its paths are intertwined, and vicious so how's that work? lurk in the shadows. A blank map is your only guide. Oh, it's like a little pop-up menu on the side, I see. Explore, you can progress even further. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought the Etri and Odyssey games used, heavily used the touchscreen. This like means that Persona Q and Persona Q2 could come to Switch. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Football Pixels that literally just said, hey, okay, sorry, I didn't catch it. Oh. My bad. Cool. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options and a new auto mapping function for smoother exploration. These games are on the 3DS, I think. Oh, neat. Launches on Nintendo Switch June 1st. You didn't catch it because you thought it's a football. <laughs> My bad. What's the difference, really? <laughs> One's on a table. Yeah. Oh, the tank game. That got delayed, I think. Strategy fans. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 reboot yeah. camp is only a couple of months away. Oh, this got delayed, I think. Back, Sammy, and more in two full story campaigns, each one filled with colorful turn based tactical action. Flex your so I like the idea of the game where you have to fill the map yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's what the uh, Etri and Odyssey games are like. Uh, it looks interesting. I like it because uh, Persona had its take on the Etri and Odyssey formula, and I want to play those, so if Etri and Odyssey comes to Switch, then those might come to Switch at some point. Or at least it's possible. 
Oh, here it is. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. A new story will unfold in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I'm excited. Magalore, the interdimensional Especially because King DDD is in his Club Penguin's form. lost his powers and must escape the realm between dimensions. This will curve. Kirby's off to fight another, another god, evil deities again. Good old Kirby. Aww. All he can do now is a basic attack and jump. Aww. To Aww. regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. So is this a new story points, in the game? Different abilities can be restored and enhanced. Improve Magalore's levitation, or increase his attack range. The Has he announced what's going? It's going quite well so far, actually. Up to you. Got some Kirby there are over 20 right now. Dimensional stages to explore. Up to four players on the same. Oh, you can all just Magalore it up. This mysterious realm together. So this seems all new. Can for this version. Restore his powers and safely return to his world? Assume they're gonna reuse the Star Allies moveset. Huh. After clearing story mode. Okay, so it's like a post-game story. Cool. More content. In amongst a game that is already pretty well liked. After today's Nintendo Direct, a demo will be available. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I want to play it. Up to four players can play a specially arranged demo with select stages and sub games. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on Nintendo. I want to give it a try. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. So I, 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 because I really want to know if I'm going to be into it, because I really like Forgotten Land, and this game is 2D, so I don't know if I'll like it as much. So if I try a demo, I'll be able to see. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, yeah, I want to play the demo like immediately. Game Boy. Oh, they're putting Game Boy, Game Boy on Switch Online. Switch Online. On Nintendo Switch, you can play these games anytime, About anywhere. About time. Just like you could back in the day. Is what I would say if I really cared. Let's introduce the games that will be available at launch. Tetris. Yeah, you get Tetris. Tetris. And aim for a high score. I don't even have Nintendo Switch Online anymore. Switch I only ever get Switch Online whenever it's convenient. Coins. Like if I need it. Because you can buy a month's worth of Switch Online for like three pounds, so I'll just so I just buy it whenever I need it. No Game Boy Advance though. No, you can't play Sonic Advance Two. Game and Watch Gallery Three. Oh, we got Game Boy Color. Alone in the Dark, the New Nightmare. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid 2 Return of Sam. Wait, they're putting Destroy Link's Awakening the on there. There's no reason to buy the remake anymore. Well, the remake looks nicer. I'd I'd rather play the remake. Mario Land 3. <laughs> Traverse a world that changes between day and night based on your actions. I I played Link's Awakening remake. It's it's cute. It's really fun. I like it. Ah, oh, you can curb. And spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. Curb. Back when Kirby was green. You can use the Game Boy Game Boy Pocket. Oh, you got options. Filters. Cool. Up to two players can play compatible games together. Because I was like, I'm, I'm not feeling all the green. I'd rather play with the color. More games will be added in the future. <laughs> Ooh, Oracle. The Oracle games. That'd be and... interesting. Oh, there's your answer speaking. There you go. Minish Cap! Oh my god, I'd love to play this! Yay! GBA! Cool! Okay, now this is interesting. Now you got my attention. <laughs> you, were li <laughs> you were literally like, oh, no GBA. <laughs> well, here you go. It heard you. Kudu, kudu, kudu in. Guide the spinning stick to the goal without hitting obstacles. I'm noticing a lack of Gen 1 Pokemon. 
I think you can get them on 3DS. Race in the first Mario Kart game created for a portable console. Still gonna get this. Mm. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Whoa, Superstar Saga! Zany world and fight with equally zany attacks. We were just talking about Mario and Luigi. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, but this is something. Shrink to miniature size and dive into a big adventure. They're getting rid of Game Boy and DS eyes so they can do this. Ah. And up to four players can play together. No. Which is for achievement. More games will be added to this library as well. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, that's neat. Golden Sun. After this presentation, you can play these Game Boy titles with a Nintendo Switch online membership. Cool. Or play both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with a Nintendo Switch. Oh, you online need an expansion pack, pack though. Um... Just still GBA games, that's pretty cool. I wanna play Minish Cap, Superstar Saga. Nintendo Switch the play Love that. Give us more greatest achievement. It might come later. Shortly after this presentation. Go nuts. Nintendo Switch Online. Nintendo Switch. You have no excuse, but 3DS is cancelled next month. Oh, I'll miss the 3DS. They give us Warrior 3, but not 4. I've never played any of the Warrior games. Oh, I know people have been waiting years for this. Metroid Prime Remasters. I've never played a Metroid game in my life. I just know people really wanted this. I'm so sad right now. Sorry, Snatch Kid, about your Warrior Land. They might add it in later. This is fire. <laughs> game Boy is on the cheap version. Hmm. I think you need expansion pack to play GBA. Also, oh, this is where this music comes from. No way! Yeah, Metroid Prime. This has been like rumored and teased, and people have been begging for it for years. I know this. I don't know what the big deal is with these games or why people want them so much, but um, here you go. Here's your Metroid Prime remasters. I think it might just be the first game, I don't know. Metroid Prime Remastered, there you go. While you wait for the inevitable Metroid Prime 4, eventually. The first Metroid Prime, originally released on Nintendo Samus Games more PTSD. This is why I love Nintendo Direct. Yeah, they have that special magic, don't they? From the perspective of Samus There's something for everyone in these. There's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. I mean, even this. I know so many people are gonna love this, so I'm just happy. Also, I like options. I might want to try Metroid someday. Never played a single Metroid game, but people love them, so. When hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams, missiles. Use lock-on technology. Samus' arm cannon gives me the same vibe as holding a portal gun from Portal. Ah, oh, cool. I'm definitely speedrunning it. <laughs> Better get save those frames, get those strategies down. Cool. You got options. Shortly after this Whoa! <laughs> go this nuts! Will if you want it digital, go nuts now. Go for it. Just, just get it, get it after this presentation. And go wild. <laughs> it's available after this presentation digitally. This is the world detective organization. Shadow dropping it. Trainee detective and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him. Will solve the strange incidents within Kanai This reminded me of city that both Portal games are on Nintendo Switch, that's crazy. I've never played Portal, any of them, and they're on Switch, so I can do it if I want to. And I might. Dreams do come true, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I get the feeling that you're really into Metroid and Metroid Prime, so happy for you. Nintendo don't use emulators. Also, Nintendo never ports Pokemon. Yeah. Nintendo is a little bit contradictory sometimes. Bet Nintendo bet I'm scooping that up. Yeah, go for it. You get your Metroid Prime, you get it immediately, like that. Go for it, go nuts. 
Wow, I'm so happy for Metroid fans. The just because I know people were waiting for Metroid Prime Remaster for so long. Launches on Nintendo Switch, June 30th. That's so cool. Wings of the Heart take flight once more. A should, should I be trying? Should I be trying out Metroid then? Should I? Should I give it a go? Should I take that plunge? After a long and peaceful era on the floating islands above Earth. The Empire's Speaking of friends, to, appears to be excited. I, I, it would seem so. You'll stand up to the Empire across Fresh out of the oven, Metroid. <laughs> Fre hot from the oven. Yum. We got some kind of JRPG thing going on here. This looks like a remaster of some kind. Battles are fought using cards called Magnus. Your attack Ooh. power is determined by the attributes and combinations. Oh, this is like Chain of Memories turn based edition. From the deck. In these real time battles, you'll need to make split second decisions to edge closer to victory. I like JRPG. I like cards. Light in the skies above. I'm in the minority of people who actually like Chain of Memories. Botan Kaidos 1 and 2 HD Remaster soars onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Dive into oh, Fantasy Life. Fantasy I've heard of this. Life. Don't know a thing about it. Oh, Chibi! Okay, it's immediately got my attention. <laughs> I'm easy to please. In a new fantasy life game. I swear I've heard this music used somewhere. The one for the card game? I didn't get a good listen. Between past and present. Look how chibi. To make the island your own. Oh. Become a woodcutter. Angler. This is cute. Blacksmith. There's a freaky carrot in the background. Oh, you can combat. Take on different roles to develop the island. This is cute. If this game's like multiplayer, this would be a chill game to play with my sister. This life is yours. It's like Animal Crossing, but you get to kill things. After 1,000 years, the restoration is about to begin. Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. That's cute. Keep an eye on that. I got excited thinking that the main character was a me. Ah, <laughs> uh, me's are dead. Is this Professor Layton? I've never played any of these games, so add it to the list. Chibi alert. Yeah, Layton! <laughs> oh, wait for America. Is racing in. You interested in, in the Professor Layton? Oh, Yoshi's Island! Cool! Yoshi's Island themed course. DLC. They don't theme courses off of specific games much in Mario Kart. Birdo, who originally hit the track in Mario Kart oh, new character? They're adding a new character in? I thought it was just courses. They're adding a new character. That's interesting. Has there been any Tears of the Kingdom? Not yet. It could. It, I imagine it might be the kind of thing they'll save for last. Well, I'm starting to get worried. I'm one of the ten people who care about Layton. I've heard good things about him. Help, oh, Minecraft. Oh, Simba. Oh, oh, we got Mega Man. We got all sorts. Wave four. Yeah, that that looks cool. Uh, Mario Kart. I didn't stream Wave 3 when that came out of Mario Kart. I streamed the first two waves. I didn't stream Wave 3 because I wasn't too compelled at the time. But if uh, if I'm interested, I might stream Wave 3 and 4 in one go. I don't know. If I, if I want to keep streaming the Mario Kart DLCs, I don't know. We've already got a decent amount of interesting to look forward to. Shockingly, there isn't actually anything that's genuinely hyped me up. 
But I feel so happy for people who have gotten a lot out of this, because there seems to be a good amount of stuff to look forward to for people. Even if it's nothing that genuinely excites me personally. I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles DLC, and we're getting a lot of fan servicey stuff in that DLC pack, which looks, sounds really cool. Ooh, Disney. Simba. Can you feel the love tonight? Invade Simba and Nala's personal privacy. Oh yeah, Tales of Symphonia. I forgot about this. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to get into Battle Network. The Mega Man. I'm happy seeing Layton. Yeah, I've only gotten to play the original trilogy, but I really like Layton. Hmm. They're like puzzly games, right? This has got to be Zelda. Yep, it's Zelda. Okay, everyone, shut up for a sec. Focus. Ew. We're looking wyvern things. Are those searchlights? Are those like... There's some dodgy stuff going down in Hyrule today. Ew. Creepy. Rip my wallet, damn you, Nintendo. <laughs> Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Blood Moon. Hyrule's gotten yucky. Oh, this game's gonna be depressing, isn't it? Fair enough, only a few on here got me hyped. I thought this ended that 22.40. It does! Wait, does it? Oh wait, it does. This is probably the last thing then. Wow, time flew by. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. You... you don't trust Link? I trust Link. Ooh, new arrows? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Ew. Hand. Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> oh my god, beep beep. Oh, cool. This game looks creepy, but cool. <laughs> Length and Kenshin. Oh god. Oh no, Zelda. Zelda dies. I'm suing. Is Link gonna get possessed by the Ganon goop? Comes out in May. Oh, you can pre order it. <laughs> Link's in Genshin Impact. Joke. Genshin. It's pretty exciting. Oh, Amiibo hasn't died yet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's... Wow, this kind of flew by, but like, in a nice way. Is that it? Yeah, the presentation is now finished. Cool! Can't wait! To have to pay for an amiibo to use fast travel a lot, all over the whole Skyward Sword fiasco. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Skyward Sword. <laughs> I love Skyward Sword, but that was pretty scum. Scumtastic. Okay. Well, that is it for the Nintendo Direct. Um, that was a pretty good amount there to chew on. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of stuff. There, was, there wasn't like one big major thing that got me hyped amongst everything else. There was like, I'm hyped for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC, but that's something I knew was going to happen anyway. It was just cool to see it. Uh, nothing that got announced that really blew me away. Game Boy on Switch was uh, pretty cool. Uh, Kirby I'm looking forward to. So there was nothing that blew me away, but honestly it was like a bunch of little victories. And the fact that there's a lot of things there that I know a lot of other people will be really hyped for. There's like Pikmin 4. Uh, Metroid Prime, 
um all sorts of things there and i know people are going to be really really going crazy over and there's a good amount to dig into like right now like right now you can go get your metroid prime uh i for one am probably gonna want to go try out that kirby demo so i'm probably gonna do that so yeah there's all sorts going on here um so i hope odds are at least there's something there that at least vaguely interested you um but yeah that is it that's nintendo direct and i think that is also where i i'll probably call the stream in a minute but i'll catch up with any people in the chat um i kind of expected layton actually maybe <laughs> Ayo, out loud. yeah you got professor layton you got that i thought that series was probably uh was probably like done i didn't know because it's been a while since the last one i didn't realize that series is going to come back but you got you got your professor layton right gem one two and three pokemon comes on that game boy thing that's not impossible it could happen um luke is still on the switch later and it only showed him is he like the little lad little companion lad uh but yeah um i'm just trying to recount everything we saw there uh tears of the kingdom looks cool we saw a bit more gameplay i, I was hoping for something maybe a bit more in depth but we saw some actual gameplay we saw some new things we have a confirmed release date which is cool uh the game seems to be a lot more creepy and eerie which isn't particularly my jam but hey to differentiate it from breath of the wild is a good thing i'd say and it doesn't look like it's going to be doom and gloom all the time um so that's cool um yeah again kirby looking forward to that game boy advance all sorts uh, i'm blanking on some of the stuff that was like really early in the presentation but this was pretty good i enjoyed this one this has some cool stuff in it and i'm looking forward to seeing um all these games some more and all that good stuff but that is that on that so this is probably where i'm going to end the stream um yeah great <laughs> uh so i'll be uh streaming next on friday for my weekly uh, you know weekly journey into the good old new york city for some more spider-man um gonna be playing more spider-man uh so that'd be cute um and then on sunday uh more kingdom hearts marathon uh birth by sleep gonna be finishing terror's story uh pretty confident about that and we'll be probably be starting ventus's story um excited for that so thank you for joining me for today's uh nintendo direct adventure and sonic advance 2 um don't know if i'll continue playing sonic advance 2 to get all the emeralds i don't know if i'm too compelled to do that but we'll see um so that's the plan all right so if there's anything anyone wants to say in the chat before i end do so now because i'm going to end in one minute starting now so if there's anything you want to say get it out now but yeah that's the gist this was a fun stream i was pretty worried because i you know i don't usually stream in the middle of the week and uh I didn't want to jinx it, but I managed to go this entire stream without it disconnecting, which is great. Cool. Love that. Didn't have any major internet problems. I did have a bit of lag here and there, but it's pretty minuscule. I mean, OBS here says that my stream only lagged for 0.3% of the time, which is pretty small <laughs> overall. So, um, cool. No lag for the stream. And, um, uh, so yeah, I will be separating this stream into two separate videos. Sonic Advance 2 portion of the stream will be on the VODs channel, uh, Pixel Key VODs. It's, uh, you can find it linked on my Twitch and other places. And then uh, the uh, the reaction, Nintendo Direct reaction that I'm doing right now, you'll find this on the main channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, congrats, you're already there. So maybe, uh, so yeah, that that's the gist. <laughs> Thanks for an enjoyable stream as always, Pixel. Did you say, did you say pretty small? Did I, Im I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm frazzled right now. Night, night, catch you on Friday. Sure, sure. Catch you on Friday. All right, that's about a minute. So stay safe. Uh, 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 I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe and stuff. And I hope to see you again very soon. Take care. 
Bye bye. I'm going to play me some Kirby demos. Bye.